up until now we've been working mostly in the drawing workspace, which you see here, or frequently the thumbnail uh, view, which you'll find in the overview workspace. But we're about to get into looking at animatics and things that are related to that, like the camera and using sound. And for all those things, we're going to need to be in the timeline workspace, and that is the one with the musical note on it. The timeline workspace is going to let us uh, play with the timing, to change the timing, and to add soundtracks, and to add camera effects. So let's get started taking a look at that. There are three different ways of getting to this timeline workspace. The first one we already showed, which is to use this workspace toolbar and press the one with the musical note, which is the timeline workspace. But if I go back to our thumbnails, you can also find it in the menu. If you go up to Windows, and then you go to Workspace, Workspace, and then Timeline, there you are. And lastly, and the easiest way, is to just press the number 4 on your keyboard. It's a keyboard shortcut. pops you right over to the Timeline view. In the Timeline view, each one of these panels represents uh, a discrete period of time that you can change and you can change the duration of each panel in three different ways. One is up here with the duration box. You can just type in a different time or use these arrows to pick a different time. If I go to the 5 for example I can just chunk it up in chunks of seconds and these Right next to it are frames. It only goes up to 24 because there's 24 frames per second. But these are seconds and those are minutes. And as I increase it, as I increase the duration, let's say from 3 until 6, look down below in the timeline. And here I'm going to add, I'm going to change it to 6. And if you look down in the timeline, it is expanding the timeline because the duration of the clip is getting longer. One other way to change the timing or the duration of a panel is to select the panel on your timeline, go to Storyboard, and then look for Set Panel Duration. When you do that, you can change that number. Okay, and when I press OK, watch down below as the panel expands to now 5 seconds instead of 3 seconds. The third way to change your panel duration is more hands-on and if you go to the selected panel and move toward the right of that panel you'll see that you get a uh, symbol that shows that you can start to stretch things and if you just click and drag then you move to the left you're shortening the duration if you move to the right you're increasing the duration and as you're moving in parenthesis, it shows you exactly how many frames the new panel will be. And that's the easiest way to see the absolute number of frames, because the other number that it shows shows you the starting point and the ending point along your timeline, but doesn't give you an absolute number of frames. So you can keep your eye on that. When you want to increase the duration, or you want to change the duration of a panel, but you don't want to mess up the entire rest of the timeline, you only want to affect the panel next to it, then you can press Alt while you're moving that. So I'm going to select this, I'm going to press Alt, and now when I move, everything that I increase on this panel decreases from the next panel. So what that means is that the timeline will stay constant throughout the rest of the show, or through the rest of the scene, and you won't have to uh, you know, move your timeline around. You won't have to move everything else over. So if I'm going to shrink this and I only want to affect the next panel also, I will just go to the right, toward the right end of the panel until I find the little grippy symbol, press Alt, and then slide it back over. And again, the rest of the timeline has stayed in the same place it was at the beginning. If you decide that you want to split one of your panels for editing purposes. 
you can put your timeline cursor at the place where you want to make the split and then there's two different ways to do it. One, you can go up to the storyboard menu and then go down to split panel at current frame and now you'll see that it has split that panel into two identical uh, different panels now. They've been split and they've been split at the exact place that you wanted to. I'm going to hit undo so I can show you the second way. Again, you just position your cursor wherever it's appropriate for your timeline or soundtrack. And then this other method is you can right click right in that panel and then go split panel at current frame. And now once again your plan, your panel is split. You can tell from the icons there that now you have two separate panels where there just used to be one but your the amount of time that it takes place is exactly the same.